Hello everyone, welcome to my knowledge. In today's video, we will learn basics of AutoCAD, uh, how to use different tools on AutoCAD and using those tools, we will draw three figures, namely problems, problem number one, problem number two and problem number three. All three problems <coughs> are sequenced according to the difficulty level so before going to the problems we will discuss basic tools and the first thing that comes is home on home ribbon you can see line polyline circle arc ellipse rectangle <coughs> after that you have the modified tool in draw tool you basically have uh, different type of lines and arcs and curves and built-in features that you can directly draw on this workspace the black screen you see is a workspace after that the modify tool is used to uh, modify or edit the uh, already existing figure or lines or features you can modify them you can mirror them you can copy them you can move it from one place to another after that is annotation annotation is used for dimensioning writing text on the drawing sheet the rest are layers block properties properties uh, uh, you can change property of the workspace the line properties the layers that you are using so we'll go to these three steps uh, when we have the basic knowledge of autocad grouping uh, utilities the utilities are used uh, for different purposes we will discuss it you can change the view of the workspace by uh, this uh, currently we are looking at the top surface or the top face you can change it to side view you can change it to left right rear bottom every view you can uh, for every view you can rotate this and see uh, the most important part is this command line in command line you can type commands and draw uh, features directly without clicking on these uh, you can draw a circle by just typing C you can draw a rectangle by just typing REC you can type uh, you can type for line you can type for polyline as P line uh, so this command uh, line uh, this command box we will be using a lot uh, after that in model you can see uh, grid you can turn off the grid or turn on the grid uh, grid basically shows you uh, equidistant equidistant blocks which you can use uh, for your drawing uh, after that snap mode is basically it uh, is used uh, to snap or stop your cursor at every point that comes in its way. Ortho the mode is used to restrict your cursor orthogonally. It won't move orthogonally. The uh, polar tracking is used to restrict your cursor at specific angles. For example, if you move, if you want to move your cursor at 90 degrees, uh, <coughs> you have to select. 90 degree polar and the uh, uh, cursor will give you 90 degree steps only after that we have snap uh, o snap is very important in o snap you can select different modes uh, for example endpoint midpoint center point you can select or uncheck any of these we will use it in our coming uh, figure so let's check it out coming to the first problem 
that is problem number one you can see its maximum dimensions are 90 and 50 and then some curves let's draw it first of all I will draw a rectangle representing its outer boundary uh, when you are putting the values you have to use the x and y quadrant <clears throat> for example I want to place my first point at x0 y0 for that purpose I, I will type 0 which is x then comma it will lock the x0 then it is it will ask me the y so to understand the workspace if I click on this line it will show me x and y quadrant coordinates the one highlighted blue is x quadrant the other gray is y quadrant so if I want to place the first point on 0 0 quadrants I have to enter 0 in x quadrant then comma it will lock x quadrant then I'll have to type 0 in y quadrant as well and then enter so it will go to x y 0 so let's move to the rectangle first of all I will draw a rectangle To draw a rectangle, when you place a cursor on any of the icon, it gives you quite good idea of what you are going to do. So here you have to uh, identify two points. The first corner and the second corner. The corner should be in diagonal to each other. So in this case I will pick the first point to be the zero of the x then comma then zero in y and press enter it will pick x zero y zero now as I know the rectangle size is 90 in x direction so I will enter 90 then I'll press comma and then I'll again type y, x, uh, y coordinates and press enter the rectangle is very small <coughs> so to zoom it in I have to use the zoom function you can do it by uh, scrolling the mouse uh, up and down or if you want to see the exact extents of your drawing you have to type zoom Z O O M zoom and press enter after that it will ask you what you want to zoom so you only have to type E and then enter it will zoom in the figure only so now here we can see the rectangle after drawing the rectangle <coughs> we will go for the internal features and in internal features we can see four uh, circles uh, the first circle uh, is uh, uh, of 10 diameter and its center is uh, 10 millimeters from X and 10 millimeters from Y so I only, uh, I just have to place the circle uh, center 10 mm in x direction comma 10 mm in y direction and then press enter after that it will ask me the radius of the circle if you only know the diameter you can divide the diameter by 2 or you can change the setting uh, you can uh, uh, type D and press enter the setting will change from uh, radius to diameter now it's asking for the diameter of the circle I'll just uh, type uh, diameter which is 10 and press enter 
and here you go you have the circle now to draw another circle again <coughs> I have to pick a circle from here now it is way easy if you open up the snap option right click on the snap option and then click on snap setting here you can check all the uh, snapping modes for example endpoint midpoint center point select these and then press ok it's 30 mm center of the other circle is 30 mm far from this center you just have to move the cursor in that direction and type 30 and press enter it will locate the center of the circle now you have already uh, typed the radius or diameter of the previous circle and you have to you want to draw a circle of the same diameter just press enter and it will draw a circle of the same diameter after that you want to draw two more circles uh, locate center of this circle move cursor in horizontal direction now see this circle is 70 apart these center these circles are 70 apart type 70 and enter you have center of the third circle just press enter and you will draw you will get same circle again now do the same for last circle as well look at the center move horizontally sorry move look at the center and move vertically downward type 30 and enter again so you have the four circles after that you can draw four other circles on the same center using the same center but of a different radius that is 10 and you know in a little time why we are doing so repeat it for other circles as well uh, this was done in order to make uh, the internal feature as well as the ends of this uh, part it was done to make the internal feature so for an internal feature uh, became very easy start a line from here and reach out for this center then this center then this and this <coughs> press escape to end the line command now you will have to use trim command to trim out the excess lines and get your final result press on trim the trim command can be used uh, by selecting object through which you want to cut another object for example if you want to uh, cut this line you have to select two other lines between which this line lies uh, for example I'll select this circle this circle this circle and this circle to cut the lines inside the circles so I've selected these circles then I will press enter 
and after pressing enter it is asking me the object to trim so I want to trim this line this line this line this one and these two see it's easy now I also want to cut these edges using the same circles uh, the results are good enough now these arcs are extra uh, I will use trim command again to use the previous command you can use arrow keys for example you want to use previous command press the uh, up arrow key you will see previous commands right next to the cursor and down arrow keys you move down again so I want to use trim command again I'll uh, move to trim and press enter now it will ask me uh, the line or object through which I want to cut I will use this line this line this line and this line enter to cut this arc this arc this arc and this arc and I hope you have learned how to trim Here you go, uh, this is the object you wanted to draw. Now to move the object uh, in XY direction just click on the roller or the scroller or whatever you call it on the mouse in the middle mouse button and uh, hold it pressed for span the uh, object now uh, next thing is uh, dimension so if you want to dimension the same uh, figure if you want to dimension the figure just go to aligned dimensioning at first I want to know distance between this point and this point is 70 it was 70 and it is 70 so the drawing is accurate uh, again use aligned uh, when you are using dimensioning suppose uh, aligned dimensioning pick a line dimensioning it will ask you the first point or the origin the first point is this suppose this is the first point uh, I left clicked this one then I pick this point by clicking here and when you pick two points it will show you the dimension this dimension you can drag and place anywhere you want uh, when you click for the third time it will be placed at that point okay again align dimensioning I want to see this all right again align dimensioning I want to see this uh, for arcs or circles you have to use uh, radius or diameter normally for arc we use radius and for circle we use diameter so for radius 
uh, select radius click on this arc and it will automatically give you radius now to show the diameter click on diameter select this and here you go you have complete uh, problem number one uh, when you want to save something just press on this save I normally save all my stuff in the drive uh, in AutoCAD data and AutoCAD DWG I will just call it problem 1 and save it right there now I want to draw the second problem which is uh, a little complicated as compared to the first one so we'll create a new page drawing 2 problem 1 is here drawing 2 uh, in drawing 2 if you can see there are a lot of curves to start this problem, uh, we have to find the center of the bigger arcs is not given. Uh, for that purpose, I will uh, draw a circle at 0, 0 origin of uh, 15 diameter SD in type 15. We have the two circles. Now draw two other circles on the same center of radius 15 to the same over here. Here you go. Now all you have to do is to draw an arc. There are so many options to draw an arc. Uh, I will use start end uh, radius because I know the ends and I know the radius. If you draw uh, an arc from this point to this point, the arc will be in this shape. But if you draw the arc from this point to this point, the arc will be in downwards shape. I want it in upward direction so I will pick this one as a starting point and this one as an ending point I'll put the radius of this arc 150 and press enter see we have the arc uh, this arc will help us find the center of the other two arcs and uh, using that center we can draw the other two arcs here we have the center of this arc place enter then to draw arcs above and below this you have to find tangent point and to find tangent point just uh, press right click and in this uh, drop down menu you can select snap override and from snap override you can pick tangent when you pick tangent it will automatically show you the tangent point and there you go 
you have a tangent at this circle and this circle as well. Do the same for upper circle. If center point, right click, snap overrides, tangent, and we get the tangent point. There you go, you have the curves. Now use another reference line from the midpoint and go 35 mm downwards. You have another res reference point for two circles. First circle is 30 mm diameter or 15 mm radius. The bigger circle is 28 mm in radius. Now to draw the V shape that is 90 degree, uh, just use line command, pick this point, make sure uh, you press, uh, if you see uh, right now the white box shows the distance and the gray box shows the angle. You want to fix the angle, press tab, you will go to the angle box, type 45 here, then tab again. When you press tab again, this 45 will get locked. And after locking this angle, just press anywhere, intersecting the upper arc. Use the same procedure, but with different angle, and that will be 135. Press tab, type 135, press tab again. Do not press enter. Press tab uh, again the angle will get locked and intersect this line anywhere there you go now by just trimming the excess lines you can get the required uh, figure only thing missing is the tangent lines draw a horizontal line till this point and intersect this arc at 90 degree. Do the same. Alright, now use trim command to trim off the excess lines. For example, I will use this, uh, uh, this circle and this circle also this line and this line to trim other objects press enter pick this line this line and this point okay after that we can trim these edges use this line and this line press enter to trim this and this. Press escape. So the figure is almost near completion. Now uh, trim other uh, excess lines. Trim using this line and this line. Let's see this and this to trim out this and this one. All right, delete this extra line. These lines can also be deleted. To delete, just select the line and press delete. Okay. Here you go, uh, two arcs are still remaining and to be trimmed, trim, select this line, this line, this line, trim. 
Okay. Choose this arc, this arc, this one, and this one. Press Enter. Then click on this arc and this arc. Here you go. Your figure is complete. Uh, now if you want to dimension it, you can use the same method. I will not do it again. Uh, let's move to problem number three. This is the last problem of, of today's video. Save this, uh, save this figure. I'll just save this figure with the name of with the name problem two. Okay. Once it's saved, I'll open a new workspace. To draw problem number three. Now, if you if you look at problem number three, it is not a circle; is an it is an ellipse. Uh, so let's begin with this problem. First of all, I will draw the ellipse. To draw ellipse is asking me the center of the ellipse again I will use 0 comma 0 as center uh, then it will ask me the major axis the major axis is 128 so we have to do divide it by 2 sorry the major axis is 168 so we have to divide it by 2 uh, which come out to be 84 type 84 and press enter now the minor axis is uh, 120 half of it is 60 uh, here we have the ellipse but in very small size Again, to zoom it in, type zoom, enter, then E and enter, you will get the ellipse. <coughs> so, if you see, it has very complex internal features. Uh, at first, we will just draw uh, the circles at both ends, uh, which are 128 uh, mm apart from each other and with diameter of 20, uh, 20 uh, millimeters. So I will pick circle. And we'll try to pick the center. If it's not showing the center, you can always go to O snap. See if O snap is on or off. Uh, So this is the center. Just move in horizontal direction. Okay. 
64 and the diameter is 20 which means radius is 10 can draw circle in this direction 64 and enter so we have two features after that if you see the internal feature is also kind of an ellipse uh, I'll draw an, another ellipse center of which is again 0 comma 0 its uh, major and minor axes are 12 uh, mm less than the previous one so 12 minus 84 12 minus 84 72 and, uh, and in this direction it was 60 so 60 minus 12 is 48 this is the ellipse we needed after that we can see the other circles right in the middle uh, the first one is of 27 diameter the second one is of 45 diameter and the third one is of 52 diameter <coughs> now we make another circle here of 20 radius and the last circle of same radius here now just trim the excess uh, curves and you will get your required answer you will get your required figure slide For reference, move it down in this direction and move it downwards till this point and move it 20 in horizontal. This is just for reference. You okay, know, let's start training. Let's type trim. Mm. Yeah, this line and this one to trim this and this okay this and this again trim okay. use this arc and this arc to trim this and this After that, trim again. Use this line and this line to trim 
this and this. That was easy. Trim additional lines. <coughs> Again, use trim. Pick this circle to trim this line and this line. Alright, now use trim for the last time. Pick this arc, this arc, this one, and this one to trim the extra edges. I think that's it. No. You're still left with this and this. So pick this, this line, this and this line to trim this and this arc. So that's it. We are almost done. Now uh, we'll learn how to fill it. If, if you see in the figure this uh, this edge is seven. Uh, this edge has seven radius. Uh, there is no edge. We have seven radius fillet here and here, 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 and nine radius over here. So we just have to make those radiuses. For that, we will use fillet or fillet. You can use it, you can call it fillet or fillet, it's up to you. Type radius, press R, enter. Type radius 7, then enter. Now select the two lines between which you want to make the radius. That's very simple. Again, fillet, radius. Enter first line, second line, and that's I'll repeat the same for other edges as well. Fillet radius, enter this and this. Fillet radius, this and this. Okay, now repeat this for the inner four corners to be filled nine radius. Uh, use the fillet command. Uh, type nine. Uh, type radius R. Then type nine and enter. Is this R? This. You can do same for other points as well. So that's it. The figure is complete. Now let's dimension it. To dimension it again you can use uh, linear okay. distance between this point and this point uh, again Oh, 
shell radius is R7. This one is R. This is R9. This one is again R7. This is you can dimension it uh, that's it for today's video if you want to ask something about uh, the current problems or you have other issues you can on always ask in the comment section you can always ask in the comment section about your issues uh, that's it for today's video in next videos, we'll move on to first angle of projections, third angle of projections, sheet planning, and section view. So keep watching the videos. Goodbye.